Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at the relay service. We're going to start setting up the scene so that in the next video, we can actually transition the players from the lobby into the game. Let's get started. So in the lobby UI, let's start by fixing a small mistake we introduced. So here in on enable and on disable, we need to remove the ready button from the if host check because uh, the ready button needs to have the listener even if you're not the host. Um, that way, um, even a person who joined can click the ready button. That's the same here. And uh, we have another mistake. In fact, here we're going to remove the whole if uh, because turns out that um, the, when this on disable runs, the host, um, the host check cannot run uh, because other objects have been destroyed. So in any case, the remove all listener is not going to throw an error. So let's just remove the if and that's going to fix all the errors. Now, let's take a look at uh, the changes we had to do on the scene. So we copy pasted the ready button uh, to create the start button. Uh, just put the text to start. That's the only change we did on the button. So this is basically the one we're going to make appear whenever um, everyone in the lobby is ready and only the host is going to see that button. Um, we also created the different maps. So uh, the blue scene, it's basically just a map with a floor with a blue material on it. We did the green, the purple and the red. So those are the scene that we declared in here. So the blue scene, the red scene, green scene and purple scene. Here I have a mistake. I'm just going to remove that space. And this is basically uh, all we need for the scene setup. Next thing you're going to want to do is install the relay package. For that, go in package manager here and then we scroll down and we go into relay. I have it already installed, but you can install it. It might ask you to restart your editor. So just go ahead and restart it. And then the relay package will be added and ready to go. Now, next step on our agenda is to set up Relay on the dashboard of Unity. So um, it's pretty straightforward as the other services we already set up. So you can just go with continue setup. It's going to say, OK, link your Unity project. We did that in, uh, in Unity in previous videos. Install package. We did that. Turn on Relay. We can turn it on right here. And then um, if you want to take a look at sample, it's the same that, uh, our, uh, that we're in the lobby one. And we can finish. And then if you go into Relay Overview here, you're going to have your new dashboard ready to go. So now we have everything we need in our project to start working with the Relay service. Okay, so back in uh, Rider, we're going to try to keep, we're going to not try, we're going to actually um, count how many players are ready. And if the uh, all the players are ready, we're going to throw an event. So in the Game Lobby Manager, and whenever we get an update of the lobby, we want to count how many players are actually ready. So number of player ready. Let's start it with zero. And we're just going to add a condition here in the loop that says if um, <clears throat> the lobby player data that is ready, then we want to add it to our number. So there you go. And outside of it here, uh, we have the lobby updated that's going to be thrown. But after that, we want to say if um, number of player ready equals lobby dot um, players dot count. So how many players are currently in the lobby? So if everyone is ready, then we're going to want to throw a new event. This event, uh, we're going to call it uh, in the lobby events. We're going to call it on lobby ready um invoke okay so let's go and create this event so to create the event let's go in here in game event lobby event and we're going to create a new event so we can copy paste this um here it's going to be lobby ready so let's go lobby ready on lobby ready so we don't really need any information it's really just to um, uh, tell our lobby UI that he needs to show the button. So if we go back in the lobby manager, then um, this is now all fine. So now let's go in the lobby UI and show the button. So now in the lobby UI, what we actually want to do is uh, we want to enable the start button whenever uh, we receive the event. So let's here copy the ready, but ready button and put a start button. And here we're going to subscribe, but only if we're the host to event dot 
not event like this, but events dot lobby events dot on lobby ready. Then we're gonna do this, and we're gonna create a new method uh, on lobby ready. Um, I'm gonna put it at the bottom here, and um, we're gonna need to remove it whenever we are here. So let's go here, here, and um, this should be enough. So it's telling us here that we've included this, so I don't need to put events here uh, because in the include here, I included game events namespace, so that's fine. So whenever this happened, we're gonna go here, and here we need to enable the button. So let's do start button dot um, game object dot enable, uh, set active, sorry, set active to true. So that should work. Now let's test it in Unity. Now back in Unity, uh, we're gonna go into our lobby scene here, lobby UI, and we're gonna drag our start button in here. Um, and we're gonna test it first in editor. So let's go into our init scene and hit play button. So what we should see is since we're the only one, it should uh, almost immediately give us the start button. So let's go host. So we're spawning, I can still change the map. And then uh, whenever I'm ready, I can do ready. And here it is, we see the start button. Now, now let's test it with um, another player in. So here it is, I just did a build of the game and then uh, launch both of them. So let's host in here. We're gonna have our code. Let's go here and do join. Uh, G and J J Y Y F. So let's do join. So I'm gonna spawn here. So here I'm not the host, but let's say here, um, here I'm the host. I'm doing ready, no button. Um, we're going here, see I'm ready. I can do ready here. And whenever this person updates to ready, I get my start button. And with this start button, we're gonna be able to actually use relay to uh, transition these two players into the game. And there it is for the basic scene set up for the relay services. In the next video, the host is gonna actually create the connection to the relay service. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.